One of the most popular videos on our YouTube channel is how to use a DSLR camera into Zoom. But 18 months on, I feel like it needs an update. So that's what we're doing in this video. Now I'm going to present you with two options for how to do this. The first is to use a HDMI converter. And what that's going to do is take the HDMI feed from your camera, go through this converter and plug it into your computer as a USB. So your computer's just seeing it like a webcam. Now I need to say up front that not every camera's going to work. Some of them don't give a clean HDMI output. What that means is those little bits of information around the screen, the little markers that are focusing, you can't get rid of them. And some cameras will just shut off after 30 minutes and you can't do anything about it. So I encourage you to head over to the Elgato website and just make sure that your camera is compatible. We've put a link in the description below. Now if your camera is on that list and it looks like you've got the all clear, Grab hold of one of these HDMI converters and you'll need a HDMI lead that comes out of your camera then into the back of this converter. Typically a micro HDMI, but check with your camera to make sure it's the right fit. You simply plug that in, you plug the USB into your computer, and then when you open up Zoom, come into the settings and you will see that you've got a video option down here. Mine's already set to it because I'm on a Mac Mini and I don't have an alternative web camera attached. And so you're looking for, in my case, this Camlink 4K. So if you're using a Camlink, that's what you're looking for in the list here. And uh, you'll see that that instantly comes through and away you go as easy as that. There's no software, there's nothing to fill, no settings. You just connect it up with your converter, plug it in, and it will come up here in the feed. Now for the first time doing this, I would close zoom down, turn your camera on, set all this in, and then open up zoom and make sure it's there in the feed. If you're experiencing any problems with it, just double check the cables first, make sure everything's plugged in nice and tight, turn things off and back on again, do a reboot if you need to. Typically, that simple little process will sort out most of the issues of people not getting a connection. Now, some cameras will send audio across here as well. So I use this setup where I've got a microphone that plugs into the camera, and then the audio and video feed both come in across this HDMI connection. So to find out whether your camera will do this, when you've got it connected here and you can see Camlink, if you click on audio, and you look at your microphone, you will see that Camlink will come in as an option for a microphone. If it's not in the list, then it's simply that your camera doesn't send audio across HDMI. And you're gonna to have to select a separate microphone, uh, but many of you are using plugged in USB mics anyway. And so with those settings in, you can just start up your meeting and in it comes with your feed. If you wanted to change the camera around down here, you can select it. And again, with the audio, you will notice that uh, in your audio settings, it will take you back up here. So that's option one. Now this second option, I'm afraid, is for Mac users only. And we're talking about using Ecamm Live, an incredible bit of software, so much more than just a live streaming tool. But I could go on for the next 10 minutes telling you all the reasons you should have it. I'm just simply going to give you a link up here. Go and check out a full playlist that we've got that'll tell you all about Ecamm and blow your mind with the possibilities of it. But Ecamm allows you to plug in the majority of cameras now simply over the USB cable that comes with the camera. The one that you would just use to transfer images from the camera to your computer. Ecamm have been busy growing this list out, adding more and more cameras that are compatible. This is one of the main reasons we needed to update this because 18 months ago, it was only Canon cameras. But now, as you can see on the list on Ecamm's website, this list is growing and growing. Again, we've put a link to this list in the description below. So if your camera looks to be compatible or if you wanna just try this anyway, as I say, you could take a 14 day trial out of Ecamm. So connect up your camera with its USB cable, open up Ecamm, and up in your camera feed here, along with what was my Camlink 4K, I've now plugged in this Canon M50, and as you can see, it comes in down here as a separate camera feed. So assuming you didn't have that Camlink plugged in, how do I now send this across to Zoom? If I open up Zoom, notice that up here, when I go into my video options, I'm not seeing anything to do with that Canon. So while we're setting up Ecamm, I do just want to close down Zoom. Now I should point out that this is a pro feature, this virtual cam, but what we're going to do now is look up in our output, virtual cam, we install our virtual cam. This password is just your computer password. 
install virtual cam, yes. And now notice that I've got this little red output symbol here and in my outputs, virtual cam is turned on. So now when I open up Zoom again and I come back to these settings, I get a video option for Ecamm Live virtual cam. And so this now is coming through. One thing to point out is that the audio will not come through Ecamm. So when I go into my microphone, don't expect to see Ecamm Live as a microphone output. It is purely sending the video feed. So in my scenario, I've still got this Cam Link hooked in. You wouldn't have this, else you'd just be using the Cam Link rather than coming through Ecamm. So your USB mic or whatever you're using will appear here. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because some of our customers have been using Ecamm to do press presentations or even interviews and send them across to Zoom and wonder why they can't hear the guest or the video playing. Uh, Ecamm is simply just sending the video feed. Now, if that is a requirement you've got, we are gonna be covering that. You need to be using something like Loopback and we're gonna be covering that in this video. So that's how easy it is. You can start up your new meeting and now you've got this camera feed coming through from your USB camera. And if you've got multiple feeds, multiple things set up here, you can just jump between them down here. Now, as you can see here, I believe there is a difference in quality over HDMI and USB. But if for convenience you've upgraded from your little webcam, this is still a great step up. And again, we will be covering this in a future video, just showing this comparison between HDMI and USB from the same camera and seeing actually what difference do you notice. But for the purpose of this, we just wanted to show you these two options that you've got for sending this feed from a camera straight through into Zoom. Um, hopefully you've found that one of those will work for you. My preference would always be the HDMI. It's just simpler. It is a better quality, but if you don't want to go out and get that HDMI, then we've just shown you here another solution where you can just literally use the USB cable coming through Ecamm. But as we said, you do need to be on a Mac. Well, I hope you found that really useful and I look forward to seeing you in another of our videos.